So to honor Belle tonight and for everybody here, uh, let's have a concert. Don's going to play. And Don's going to play a, a short concert little set here, uh, and then afterwards, of course, Belle's going to. Uh, Val's gonna come up. She's gonna say a few words, but not too many, because then we got a lot of food. <laughs> we got a lot more food coming up. But ladies and gentlemen, first, oh, hey, one more thing I want to say. I gotta, I gotta say this. I gotta say this. When I called Don Sternberg, no, Val, 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 I'm gonna tell you. When I called Don Sternberg, I said about this thing. I, 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 I'm gonna let you know this. So I, I called him, and he said, he said, oh yes, of course. I'll bring the trio. And I said, okay, Don, it's not, it, it is a, a benefit, so we've got to work. He said, oh, no, 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 there'll be no discussion. <laughs> he said, because, and I have to tell you this, he said, you know, I have met Val, <laughs> and I, too, have fallen under her staff. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Don Sherman Trio! <laughs> songs and uh, don't don't be a, we don't mean to be rude or anything talking amongst ourselves like that but we do need sometimes to figure out just what in the hell it is we're gonna try and do and uh, also we you may catch us laughing uh, somewhat uh, vigorously from time to time just amongst ourselves and again we don't mean we're not we're not trying to keep you out of any jokes or anything, I mean, but we might just laugh every so often because of the, the idea of adults making a living this way. That's what, we're, that's what we're laughing at. I'm happy. 
happy as a king and foolish though it may seem to me this train is built for speed now this train this train is built for speed it's the fastest train that you've ever did see now this train is about the glory of this train ago today, in the morning, the day after my 73rd birthday, I was having breakfast with Sue Gill and I came apart. I was as fragile as I've ever been and the poor lady couldn't get order her breakfast tea. She's trying to order a cup of tea and I'm blubbering. I'm not exactly the blubbering type, but I'm blubbering. And she listened for a while, and then she said, uh, let me ask you one really important question. I said, okay. She said, do you want to stay there? And I said, what I've never said out loud, I want to die there. I want to stay there until it's over, and maybe beyond. <laughs> There's room in the Elvish right So she very calmly said, well, okay, it's time to marshal the troops. I said, what troops? I don't got no troops. I'm a record store owner. I don't got troops. She said, yes, you do. And I didn't believe her. I mean, you know, I know, I'm a legend. Val, have you met Val? You know, she's a legend. <laughs> Legendary status and four dollars will get you a cup of coffee at Starbucks. She's a legend. Don't you know Val? She's a legend. And so I told the story one more time the next morning to Dan Haley, who I happen to run into and who I've known for many, many years. And I told him the same story, same words, and I said, and, and Sue said, it's time to marshal the troops. And I said, I don't have any troops. And she said, yes, you do. And I, I got to the line that said, I don't have any troops. And he said, yes, you do. I think I'm beginning to think there are troops around here. I don't know. So she asked if I, when I thought about a fundraiser, and I said, <laughs> That's a pretty strange one. You got this, this immigrant kid from the west side of Chicago who didn't go to college because that's frivolous. At my age, at 16, you don't go to college. You don't keep going to school. You go to work. I went to work three days after I graduated high school, and I have never been unemployed one day. And you don't, you don't ask for fundraisers. But if we're talking about an infusion of of capital, if we're talking about an investment in what Val's Hala could be if we had a little bit to use to make it happen, and if we could make some dent in that ridiculous credit card debt, then we're not talking about the same thing. And that is 
exactly why you're here and what is going to happen. And we're going to do that. I will, I will tell you that I would be delighted to talk to you about the ways in which we're going to do that. It's going to be in retail, as a performance space, and as a historical mecca. And as a historical mecca, it doesn't cost a penny. All we have to do is keep the front doors open. So if you will help me, we will make this happen. And I thank you so very, very much for coming tonight. I've never heard Bell say so much in so little time. It's because she knows everybody's hungry. There's lots more food that's going to be coming around. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out tonight. It's really sweet. Don't forget to shop at Bell's. There's plenty of time before the holidays are all over. I'll put on a little bit of more music, and uh, we'll have lots of food coming out. Thanks, everybody, Melissa's for coming. Melissa's food! Melissa oh, Elsmo's food. Hang on. Wait, wait. I have to tell you one more thing. Dan Haley made a reference to this being sort of like It's a Wonderful Life. And I didn't really see the parallel. I wasn't quite as bad as George Bailey. But, but I do have... I, my angel isn't Clarence. My angel... I got, I got more than one. I got Sue and Jim and Melissa and Leaf and Dan. So I got a band of angels.
question how 